was to see you smiling I know that I love you, oh baby why don't you see All I ever wanted was to see you smiling All I ever wanted was to make you cry So I decided to do a video on concealers and for those of you who don't know, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different types of concealers out there and that can start to get a little more confusing about the texture, what they're used for um, and what they're best for and what they're not so good for. So in this video, I'm going to go over every type of concealer and show you what they're all used for and as you can see, I have a little, um, what did I use? I used lipstick. It's the 24 hour stay so it doesn't rub off. And I'm going to show you how you can hide this with, um, with concealers. So let me first go through all the types of concealers. First of all, there's the pencil concealer. Now this one is not necessarily a concealer. Well, it is, but it, I guess it's not used for that. But like I said, there are no rules in makeup. Um, this one's by Cargo. And it's, it's a very nude, just looks like a concealer. I don't know if you can see that. And it's usually used to line your lips, that way you get a really pretty um, shape. But this is nice for on the go, it's not heavy coverage, so if you consider using it, it's more for if you have little vi like veins by your nose or maybe a pimple you want to cover up. Just something on the go. It's really handy to have. I like it a lot. Um, and then there's the pots, which I don't have one. I have this big concealer palette. If I had a pot, I would have 30 different pots that I wouldn't be able to find. And a pot usually looks like this, and it comes in one, one shade. But again, as a makeup artist, it's much easier for me to carry this around than a whole bunch of these. Um, this is probably the most typically used by professionals. It's most preferred because it's easy to blend, um, and it's really creamy. And what's nice about it is it's not too thick for it to get in your wrinkles, as other concealers are, which I'll get to those, <laughs> the ones that are like that. Um, and it works really nice for under the eyes. And it is a full... Uh, full coverage application. This would be considered a light coverage because it's just on the go really quick thing, but this is a full coverage. Um, the other thing is a stick, which <laughs> I also don't have a stick um, in a normal color, but I'm going to show you my yellow stick and I'll get to why there's yellow foundation in a second, but that's what a stick would look like. Um, and the thing with a stick is it is full coverage. It's probably the best coverage out there and you would use it more for like big spots of either a birthmark or a rash or something like that. But you'd never want to use a stick under your eyes because it's so thick that it's going to go inside all your little fine lines and it just looks terrible. It's, it's not something you want on your face. So it is a full coverage stick for if you have like a big spot that you're trying to cover, it's good. But for anything else, I, I really wouldn't recommend it because it kind of gets oily too. Another thing is the wand. And this is a light coverage. I'm showing you L'Oreal True Match, which is one of my favorites if you're going for a light coverage. And let me show you what it looks like. It's more of a liquidy texture. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll try it. Kind of looks like that. But it's very nice for under your eyes because it's so light, you're, you don't have to worry about build up or anything. So this is a good one if you don't have many skin problems. The other kind is a tube. And what is it, what the tube is, is a thicker, creamier, so it's similar to this, except this has, this is more liquidy and this is more creamy. Um, which is good for um, aging skin and if you have really dark circles or really like severe imperfections that you're trying to hide. This is my favorite. This is what I use all the time. It's by Derma Blend. Um, so honestly, I would recommend this one to anyone, but if you really don't need that much coverage, like I said, you can use the wand. Um, now comes in the ones that I think everyone gets confused with. It's yellow and green concealers, which was what I was holding. Um, now, I'll go over the green first, because this is the one I'm going to show you how to cover this. With green, it covers up uh, red spots like acne, rosacea, anything that's kind of got a pink tone, red tone in it. Um, the yellow covers up purples and blues. So if you have really severe under eye circles, what you would want to do is you would want to put this on first and then put your regular concealer, which I'm going to show you that with the green. So like I said, with the yellow, what you would do is you would look at the yellow, which is right here and across from the yellow we have a violet so what yellow can do is it can cover up any purple purplish bluish around here it's, it's good for those types of shades that you're trying to cover veins dark circles like I said and as you can see the green is right here 
and that covers up any red marks, um, rosacea, anything pink, pinkish toned in it. So that's down here. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to cover this. So give me a second, I'm going to turn, like, I'm going to go behind the camera and I'll show you how I do this with the green again. Okay, so now I'm behind the camera and I'm just going to show you the red marks. See, they don't come off. No tricks to this. Nothing on my finger. Well, my fingers are all pink, but nothing, no, none of this is coming off. Now I'm going to take my green concealer and I'm just going to start by covering up this red. Now I'm going to take my concealer brush and just work it in there. Now don't be too critical because I don't think anyone has these type of red spots. I just want to show you what the difference is. Now I'm going to take a little bit more. I don't think anyone would have such red marks, but you'd get the point if it was a zit that how fast this would cover it. Okay, there you go. So you see the little pinkish mark? Now I would take my regular concealer, which is the second one right here. So just kind of rub that in there. And I'm going to conceal the rest of it. And then with the second one, I'm going to show you what happens when I don't, when I don't use the green base. That way you can see the difference. Sorry, this is kind of difficult because I'm trying to look at my hand and, and at the camera to make sure my hand isn't moving off. There you go. And now I'm just going to blend the outside. Now it's probably best to... um apply a powder after this to keep everything in place. And now I'm going to take the same concealer, go in there and make sure to get a whole bunch, and I'm going to go in and try to conceal this spot with just regular concealer. Alright, so you can tell the difference. It pretty much just looks pink now. And if I go ahead and get more concealer. Ah, I think you just saw me. And then I attempt to cover it up a little bit more. I blend the outsides. Okay, now you can use your judgment which one conceals better. So this is the whole point of the green concealer. It'll take care of that, that pink undertone that you may get after you put your concealer on. So as you can see how it looks. So now we know why we use this funny looking green concealer and now you know if you ever have a crazy pimple that decides to show up before an important event, why you should get yourself some green concealer. Um, the same thing works with the yellow on a bruise or under your eyes, but I'm not going to show you both. You already got the concept of this one. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I know I tried to cover a lot. I might have missed something. I showed you the different types of um, textures and the different tubes and, and pots and and sticks and pencils. <laughs> so I think I went over everything. I do have a blog about it on my um, my Facebook page, so underneath there's a link and you can go in there and read the blog and it goes more in detail. And I'll also have um, what brands I use today just in case you, uh, you're interested. Ooh, well, there goes that. Um, just in case you're interested in what I use. So until next time, stay beautiful and please let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. All I ever wanted was to see you smiling I know that I love you, oh baby why don't you see All I ever wanted was to see you smiling All I ever wanted was to see you smiling